Okay, so in this video, we are going to be taking a look at probably the most photorealistic rendering I have ever seen in Unreal Engine. Now, this artist is super freaking talented, and he's barely getting started with Unreal Engine. So with that being said, let's go ahead and check this out, and we'll talk about it a little bit more after. So what's crazy about this is he didn't really use a lot of photo scanned assets from somewhere else. He actually created majority of the assets you are seeing here on this video, which again, freaking the talent this guy has is insane. Now, obviously, there is a little bit of noise in the shadows right here, but that could be compression, but who knows? Uh, this is path tracing in Unreal Engine 5, and I know I've been talking about path tracing all the freaking time. I talk about NVIDIA path tracing and real path tracing because I absolutely think path tracing is the future of cinematics. And this right here really just confirms that. He did such an amazing job with this project. And the crazy thing about this is, I was reading about this individual who created this, Martin, he's from Sweden. He's actually new to the Unreal Engine environment. Obviously he's an artist, but he is, he tried Unreal Engine for the first time and this is what he came up with. And I talked about this last year. I said, I can't wait until professionals start using Unreal Engine because this is it. Now, obviously only sad part about this is for talented people like this, nine out of 10, they're usually with a studio. So they're really busy all the time and they can only do this on, you know, like as a side project or something like that. But eventually my hope is that one day we are going to have these kind of assets and environment in the Unreal Engine marketplace or any 3D store for that matter, because my goodness, the engine can obviously clearly have this quality but finding those environment artists that will sell to us is another other story so again it gives me hope maybe in a couple of years we would have people that would sell assets like this because as you all know you look in the marketplace right now i would say 98 percent of the assets there are still very much so for video games which really leaves us you know filmmakers in unreal and Omniverse really out just looking for stuff and looking for scraps. Like the stuff I get from my short are majority Unreal Engine marketplace assets. And again, they're usually uh, gamey quality. But my goodness, if you want to know more about this artist, go check out his art station. His name is Daniel. He's from Sweden. And he did have a write-up on this project just a little bit. You're looking at the screenshots. They look absolutely amazing. Now, he is going to be making a Lumen version of this that he's working on. And I'm going to be curious about this because I want to see how it's going to compare to path tracing. Additionally, I wish I can bring this asset, this environment, to Omniverse and crank out the path tracing there to compare that. But obviously, this is not my project. Uh, I mean, this is really cool. I wish maybe, you know, he would make, I don't know, like a photorealistic nothing specific or anything like that maybe like a like a cyberpunk police station at nighttime or something like that some photorealistic like that for no reason whatsoever uh, you know just an idea maybe that maybe one day he can he can make an environment like that but again if you want to check him out his youtube channel is black udon art he has 250 subscribers but this right here 
clearly is going to blow up. It's probably going to reach 1 million views here shortly because, again, truly amazing, freaking amazing artist. And I am trying to get him on the channel to talk about this process just a little bit more. And I'm hoping he'll reply to me so I can have him on here and share some knowledge with you all because this channel... Like I told you all, this is just like a library of random things about Unreal, Omniverse, Blender, iClone, you name it. This really, my channel became that now is just to get information out. And honestly, I try to get people out, talented people out like him to come out and talk to us and maybe sh share some knowledge. But yeah, with that being said, let me know what you think about this video. And if you know, and if you've seen any other demos that look really good that you think we should take a look at, let me know. Send me a link and then we'll take a look at it together. I'll see y'all later.